guys, this is JB3, and we are back with another episode of FIFA 20 Career Mode Youth Edition featuring Scunthorpe United. And we are here. It will be our season wrap-up episode before we get ready for our second season here in the Premier League. You know what? We did well. We got into mid-table, so it's a respectable finish. We just got to do a little bit better on defense. Hopefully this offseason we can find some youth players and improve our team to... You know, keep some balls out of the back of the net, hopefully help that goal differential and see ourselves into a Champions League position. So let's get into this one, see how everything shaked out and see how we can improve our team here in the offseason. So we'll get started here with the player stats. You see Jesus with an unbelievable season. 30 goals here for Manchester City and see why they really did well this season. Even West Ham though, you know, with 25 goals. Harry Kane with 21. And then we see George Wood, our best goal scorer at 20. So a top six finish, you know, kind of tied there for fifth position or fourth position even. So not a bad showing from him. We'll see if we have anyone else. I don't think we do. Oh, we Wang made it there with 12. And Kinsesao on the outside looking in with 11 goals. Also take a look at the assist. George Wood, the top assist man with 13 goals. Wang with 11. And do we have anyone else in here? Kinsesao you would think is in there. He is in there with seven. So not a bad job there for the team. Now we'll take a look at the clean sheets real quick. And it is Yidget with five. Not many of those to speak about, but you, know, you see some of these teams, we will have to do better next season. So we'll take a look at the stats, and as we saw all season, our offense only came from three players, George Wood, Wang, and Kinsesao. I mean, no one else really there. I mean, we are going to have to try and find some offense. Thought it might be Marchenko, but, you know, he did a good job, although with assists, so... Hopefully that can improve and we can find some, we gotta probably find just more offense in general. So hopefully we can do that throughout the year. And you know what, hopefully we'll do a little bit better, you know, decent appearances for everyone. You know, hopefully we can do a little bit better. We'll take, we'll, we'll sort the assist too real quick. And then we will have the season stats or career stats. We'll throw those up here so you guys can take a look at them. Obviously George Wood can say so and Wang leading the way here for Scunthorpe United. So we'll take a look at the Premier League table. It's not a bad table overall, but I think, you know, obviously the top two was a little ridiculous. A plus 79 goal differential for both teams. You know, that's, that you'd love to see be a little different. We'll take a look at some of these other, other competitions. We've got the FA Cup, which is won by Chelsea over Man United. We have the Carabao Cup. I mean, we are just struggling in cups, but at least we lost to a, a team that came in second, so that's not bad. Carabao Cup is a Liverpool versus Man City. They win on penalties 5-4. to four. And we'll take a look at some of these other ones. Champions League, we'll see who took the victory in that. Probably Man City, you would think. And no, it's Barcelona who beats Man City 5-4 to four on penalties. So an exciting final there. And then we'll take a look at Europa League. And we'll see who took the trophy there. If FIFA could ever hurry these matchups up. And it is Tottenham who take it over Man United. So England really strong here in the European competitions. So we are here in a new season with a new objectives. So we'll take a look. It's the same one as I believe we had last year. So it is grow two youth academy players by 10 and then have them play in five matches. So that the, the playing of five matches shouldn't be hard. Hopefully we can find a couple real good youth players and get them up. So we'll, we'll try and make a focus of that just to kind of knock it out early. We have one, sign one crucial player. We won't do that because we don't sign players. We're going to focus on the Youth Academy. So we'll skip that one. And then within three seasons, increase a season ticket holder. So that one should be no worries. No Continental. The next stick, they want to finish in Europa. We want to finish higher than that. We want to go for the Champions League. So we'll see if we can do a little bit better. And then reach a round of 16 in the FA Cup. So that will have to be a focus. We have not fared well as of yet. And no financial objectives. So mostly focusing here on the Youth Academy this season. So we have our first preseason game here against Napoli. We'll go with the starters and it's a two to one loss. And we are here for our second shot in the group stages of the preseason against Lazio and a two to one victory this time, although Richter picks up an injury. 
And our final game here in the group stages, and it should be a victory. You would think it's three to nil. Awazi, Wang, and Petir are all picking up goals. And into the knockout round we go against Ajax, and it will be a two to nil victory. And it is a cup final here against Napoli, and oh, we go down two to nil. So we are here our first month in Peru and it's brought back some decent players, but we will hold on just for another couple months. Probably the best of the bunch is Javier Vergara, a goalkeeper 6'5", but we have such depth there. We'll hold on for another month. And we are here in Egypt and it's brought back some decent talent. The best of them is Yasin I'm 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 I thought that was an N, it's an M. 6-6, looks like he could be a decent center back. $500,000 valuation will bring him into the Youth Academy. And we are here in the US and it's brought back another park. This time it is Brian Park. So we, we love a park in this series. We will bring him in 80 to 94 potential. And we will take a look at the Youth Academy as it grows. Brian Park, 5'11 oh, center back, that's not what you need. 61 overall though, we'll keep an eye on him and we'll have to try and maybe look for who's gonna be our player to focus on and, and try and meet that board objectives. Asagawa still looking good, 56 overall. We will drop off Hokama, yeah, I don't know how to say it. Either way, gone. Thomas Evans, who looks to be good at 6-4, or right back 6-1, so you might see him in Brian Park switch positions. We'll see where that potential goes, though. Buese, we'll get rid of you. We have a lot of defensive midfielders. Sadami, looking good, 74-92. to 92. Resnick, looking good. Just need to get those overalls up on some of these players, and they should look very promising. Oh, really good players there. A lot of good potential to hold on to. And a central defensive midfielder, he'll probably drop back to center back though. At 6'6", looking good, is Yasin Ayman. So we will see two players leave the club. It is Kajal Dahl, who will leave on a one-year loan. And then we have Adam Vera, who's gonna leave on a five million or five and a half million dollar transfer fee. We have a lot of good goalkeepers and his potential's dropped off. So we'll see him leave here in the off season. So we have three more players who are gonna leave, leave the club and we are just trying to thin this roster out. We have a lot of players, but we're gonna try and use the loan list here to get some of these players some experience. So we don't have anyone complaining about playing time. We have Anzinger who's gonna leave. We have Pitchler who's also gonna leave. We might bring him back in when we get to the cup rounds though. Depends on where our back line is looking on the cup squad. And then Ramiro Ortiz is gonna leave for VVV Venlo. He will leave for $1.5 million. You know, he just never really fit into the club, so we'll see him out. And as we get ready for the season, we will take a look at the rejects. It's Cordoba up to an 80, Patrick Ennis up to an 80 as well, Galrekin now up to a 77, Cesarek, another great goalkeeper for us, is at a 73. Ramiro Vasquez, another goalkeeper, 73. I mean, we have just had our pick for keepers at this point. Rinaldi up to a 73. Giacomo Gallo, 72 overall. Lukoja, 72 overall. Frank Henry up to a 72. Jose Henriquez, 72. Salman Nasser, 70. Vergara, 70 overall. Teixeira up to a 70. Oh, and a lot of defensive midfielders too. Lopez, a 69. Picorni, 69 overall. Telmo Rodriguez, 69. Rogerson, a 69 as well. Shigari, who just had some interest, so he might be making a move out of the Saudi Arabia League, 68 overall. Gustafsson, 68. Visnage, 68. Elliot Harris, still at Cheltenham Town, 67. Bliska, 66. Daivis, 65. Gauthier, 65. Michaels, a 65. Sungsu O, oh, a 64. Jihu Jill, a 59. Gauthier, a 58. Goosens, and we'll have to do some more scouting on them, but that will do it for the rejects. So we'll have to keep all these players in mind as we get ready for Project Reject following the Youth Edition. And if you guys aren't familiar with it, make sure to check it out. We'll put a link to it up here in the eye. Make sure to go check that series out as well.
So we'll also take a look at the uh, team sheets here for some of the other teams. We've got Bournemouth, who's on four and a half stars. Arsenal still at, at five stars overall. Brighton, who we will start our season with at a four and a half stars. Although they got some holes there on the left side. So hopefully we can attack that as well. I'd love to see that next year in FIFA where you kind of get a little recap before each game of where players are and you can kind of take a look at this from maybe like the, the start screen when you get ready to play. We've got Crystal Palace down, struggling, down to a four-star team. Everton at four and a half. Fulham, who just came up at four and a half. Leicester City, four and a half. Liverpool, always dominant, still at a five-star team and still looking good. I mean, Man City, too, look to be another powerful team as well. They haven't really lost anyone. Five stars here for Man United, four and a half for... Newcastle oh, down to three and a half. Norwich should be a team we should be able to. Oh, a 68 goalkeeper. We need to put some goals on them. You see us four and a half stars still growing. Probably got to work on Manalik and Bailey a little bit and, and maybe along our back line. Four and a half stars for Southampton. Five stars, a dangerous attack for the Spurs. Stoke City, four and a half. Watford, four and a half. West Ham, a five star team. Really, really good. Pickford in net, 86 overall. Wolves are at a four and a half, and that will do it. So that gives you an idea. We should, I mean, we're going to improve along the way, so we'll keep fighting on, but we should have a real good chance at being one of the top teams here in the league. So that'll do it for us here in this one. We will get ready for the season, our second season here in the Premier League. This time we will start against Brighton Hove Albion and we will have West Ham in the next one. But that will do it for us here in this one. Looks to be an exciting season. If you guys are enjoying the series, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you can always find out when the newest episodes are coming out. And until next time, have a good one.